At the end of a successful weekend cruise to Catalina Island last fall, a group of owners of F-27 trimarans decided to organize a more substantial cruise for the following year. They would, they decided, race their boats in the world's largest yacht race to Ensenada, Mexico. Then trailer their boats 350 miles south to the cruising grounds of the Midriff Islands in the Sea of Cortez, where they would spend a week of fishing, diving, and exploring. This is the story of their expedition. In preparation, and to get their adrenaline going, a group of them first took their boats up to windy San Francisco Bay. Such is trailer sailing. A trip that would be a major mission by water becomes just another drive up the freeway. Another opportunity to go sailing. If you've never sailed at the speed of the wind, well, hang on to your hat. Even with full sail in a strong blow, the F-27 never heals beyond 15 degrees. And if you want to flatten it even further, it's a simple task with the roller reefing main. Who says reefing slows you down? Who says trimarans can't go to windward? Watch out as the F-27 punches forward into the wind and chop at 10 knots. Think we can catch that 35-footer? Mmm, toast. The tiller can be a one-finger exercise, even at speeds approaching 20 knots. The broad beam of the trimaran makes a spinnaker pull almost redundant, and without one, jibing becomes an effortless operation. San Francisco was just the hors d'oeuvre. The race and cruise to Mexico took a little more planning and preparation. Down, Billy. Build, which will be, you know, essential, could be, in the uh, upper and lower radiator hoses. Sunday we leave at noon, mm -hmm. one o'clock, take about a four hour deal down here, get here in the, in the evening, we're still in the ocean breeze. How do we get the boats to Newport? Camp. How do we get the trailers to Ensenada? Where's the ramp? What about the drinking water? What about the gas? What about our friends? Can they come too? Well, only, it would appear, if they have an F-27 too. For what other boat can lead the pack of 500 down the coast to Ensenada, then be packed on a trailer and easily taken over land to the fabulous cruising grounds of the Sea of Cortez? It's a perpetual complaint about this most popular of races. There is sunshine and wind at your back for the race itself. But once it's over, it's a long uphill slog to get the boat home. That is, unless you have your trailer waiting in Ensenada and plan to spend the next week instead cruising the warm waters further south. In a part of the world where tradition means something's been around since last Wednesday, there is some real tradition to the Newport Ensenada race. This was the 42nd running of the event, which has been sailed every April since 1948 and seen well over 15,000 sailors enter the 125-mile run to Mexico. The race attracts old traditional schooners like Kelpie, which has been in every race for the past 20 years. Ultralight classics like Ragtime, IOR winners like Trevisio, and retired 12 meters such as Newsboy. Jerry Conser, the official photographer of the race and a fixture in her tiny aluminum skiff and one-woman airplane at the start and finish lines, has almost an embarrassment of nautical riches to record. Since the mid-50s, the race has welcomed multi-hulls as well as unimorans. 
Over the years, it has attracted most of the hottest West Coast cats and tries, including Rudy Choi's many Honolulu-based cats named Ikani, Imi Loa, which has sailed in every Ensenada race for the past 27 years, the F-27 Super Fox, of which more later, Wind Warrior, and Double Bullet, which currently holds the record. This year, the race will also see the entry of the world's best-known convert to multi-hulls in the controversial America's Cup defender, Stars and Stripes, which will be trying to break that record. But its skipper is no newcomer to the race. race. Probably more than any other race I've ever been in. I'd say probably started in about... It's an admission of guilt to tell you how long ago, but... If it's older than me, we're in trouble. I would say that it was at least 30 years ago. How old are you? 32. It's probably before Gino was born. And I had the good fortune of going with a guy by the name of Ash Bound on a boat that was Carousel. He was one of my mentors and Owens Cutter back in the old late 50s, middle 50s. He always knew where to go, and so we always did real well in the race. San Diego always kind of had this big rivalry with Newport to see if he win the most trophies. This was, this was, at this time, the Ensenada race was the big race of the year. It was like the major race that everybody wanted to go in. So we used to look forward to that for a long time. Stars and Stripes, possibly the fastest sailboat in the world, is a no-holds-barred day racer, which has had some tiny berths, anchors, and outboards, specially added to allow it to pass inspection for this open ocean race. The F-27s it will be racing against, on the other hand, are sport cruisers, designed for family sailing and cruising, for strength and seaworthiness, and fun and comfort, as much as for speed. They're equipped with two cabins, a warm, finished interior, five berths and a galley, and have been extensively cruised around the Bahamas, Europe, and America. Every year, the Newport Nautical Museum honors past winners and entrants in the Ensenada event. This year, the museum saluted the fraternity that has dominated first to finish honors in the race, multi-hullers. In addition to these gentlemen, who are, we're pleased to have with us tonight another gentleman who's done a, several Ensenada races, and has done it with Rudy, and then Rudy's design boats, and that's the gentleman you all know, Buddy Anson. Buddy? As we all know, there are only three kinds of boats. There's a cat, a half-cat, and a cat and a half. <laughs> I want to say that I'm very, uh, very happy to be here to greet my uh, friends. I want to say old friends, friends that I've known a long time. And uh, starting at the end of the line there, uh, Bob has invited me to sail on his boat. I uh, never I have, I had the opportunity, really, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. I'll send my uh, chauffeur over picking up my attitude. <laughs> you have the right attitude. Bob. Uh, Mike, we, uh, on the hurricane, we've had some wonderful uh, comp uh, competitive races, and Mike approached me once because it, uh, he wanted to sail around the Cape, uh, Cape Horn. He was looking uh, for sponsors, I said, why don't you try Forest Lawn? <laughs> Still here with 